Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how DSP server assign IP address to client computer. So in the last video we just created a, a scope on our DSP server and in this video we'll see how the DSP server assign IP from this scope to client computer. So let's see what happening in a backside when DSP server assign IP address to client computer. See, during the boot process, uh, the client computer that is configured as a DHCP client sends out a broadcast package called the DHCP discover. And so whenever DHCP client computer uh, starts, that when client is configured to obtain IP address automatically, that time the DHCP client requests an IP address by broadcasting a packet known as a DHCP discover message to the local subnet. This DHCP discover packets contain the client's computer's name as well as the MAC address of the client computer. So the DHCP server can respond to it. So basically the DHCP server packet says, I'm looking for a DHCP server who can lease an IP address to me. So in a next step, DHCP server on a network respond to the broadcast with a DHCP offer. In essence, the DHCP offer says, I'm a DHCP server and I have a lease for you. If several DHCP server respond to the request, the client accept the first offer that it receives. So the client is offered an address when a DHCP server respond with a DHCP offer message containing the IP address and the configuration information for a lease to the client computer. So in the next step, the client responds via a broadcast message called a DHCP request. This message basically says, I accept your lease offers and I would like an IP address from you. So the client indicates acceptance of the offer by selecting the offer address and broadcasting the request message in a response. So in the next and last fourth step, the DSCP server whose offer was accepted uh, responds with the DSCP acknowledgement message which acknowledges the lease acceptance and the contains the client's IP address lease as well as other IP addressing information that you configured to the server to provide. The client is now a TCP IP client and can participate on a network communications. So the client is assigned the address and the DSCP server broadcast a DSCP SEK message in a response finalizing the terms of the lease. Sometimes this process also known as a DORA process. DORA means uh, D for DSCP discover packet, O for DSCP offer packet, R for DSCP request packet and A for DSCP SEK acknowledgement packets. And that's why you can say uh, DSCP assign a IP address to client computer using DORA process. So keep in mind that the lease is the for a period of time. Typically a client can keep its IP address for several days or whatever you configured on your DSCP server. So let's see, uh, let's capture all these packets using a Wireshark and for this demonstration I have a Windows 8 computer and currently I disconnected the cable from this computer for this demonstration and let's see the property. Because I want to capture all the packets. Uh, running in a background. So as you are seeing, the client computer is set to obtain IP address. Automatically click on OK, click on close and that's done. On a Windows Server 2012 VM, I installed the Wireshark to capture the, all these packets. So click on start to for live capture and on Windows 8 computer, let's uh, connect the cable. Let's click on status to see the status and click on detail. As you are seeing, our client computer get an IP 192.168.10.20 from our DSCP server. Let's stop the capturing process on our uh, Wireshark. Here is the DSCP discover, DSCP offer and DSCP request and DSCP acknowledgement. If you double click on DSCP uh, discover packets, See the source port is 68, destination port is 67 and inside the bootstrap protocol, client's IP address none and here's the client's MAC address, it's a 080027B2 double line D1. Let's check that, it's B2 double line D1. Okay, and uh, here's the host name of the client computer, it's the demo PC. On the next package from DSCP server, as you are seeing, see, uh, the source is 0000, 0000 and destination is broadcast address. Now we have a 192.168.10.11 as a source as DSCP server has a static IP address assigned on that. And if you say again the source port is 67, destination port is 68 and now it's saying your client IP address will be this and uh, client MAC address is this and who is the DSCP server. So these are the additional parameters which we set on uh, our server. That is uh, lease information and uh, mask, 
DSV server identifier, router's address, and DNS address. In the next third packet, it's a DSCP request. Now client is sending a request that uh, I want that IP address which is offered by you. Here's it. And the source port is 68 and destination port is 67. And this is the final confirmation from DSCP server. There's a DSCP ACK that is acknowledgement from DSCP server. So this is the way how client computer get a IP address from DSCP server.